Welcome back to the channel guys. This is a non-commentary playthrough. Just wanted to stop by and say thanks for watching and enjoy. Is that the finish line I see there? Whoa, whoa, holy crap. We have climbed seriously high up. The village of Ada is just beyond that bridge. Let us keep moving. This narrow road here looks more like a sketchy mountain path. The path to the village of Ada is the one with the bridge. We should turn. What's up with this gate? Thought this was supposed to be a quiet mountain village, not a military stronghold. Um, does anyone else see that thing moving? That thing bears quite a resemblance to a cannon and is trained on us. Out of its way! The hell, Boomer? You going to sleep mode? You're supposed to warn us about this stuff. This is large scale firearm detected. Initiating safety protocol. Very helpful. Here comes! Oh. 
You guys never told me we'd have to lay siege to a castle. I do not take the destruction of my defenses lightly. Now state your purpose here. Having pillaged the capital, does the Empire now sick its hounds on the western frontier? How dare you think us Imperial dogs! Still your tongue, Alverd. Huh? Forgive our trespass. We bear neither you nor this town ill will, Maester Felgreed. That's Midas? It is not without reason that we have appeared before you. Please, grant us audience. You may have grown, Leticia, but tell me, will you still throw a tantrum if I said no? I beg of you, Maester. We have a patient who Dr. Eason says only you are able to cure. A patient of Marcus's? <laughs> Very well. Open the gate. I care not how gifted and talented that man is. He has no right to disparage one of royal blood. His words may have been meant to wound, but he let slip that he still recognized me. I consider that a victory. And now the real battle awaits. Come. This way, and be quick about it. What's the deal with the gate, man? It's far more than that, as I'm sure you've now come to realize. It's a security system designed to rebuff highwaymen and their ilk. You sure you need it? Well, it seems safe enough to me. For now, yes, but it's only a matter of time until Osiris falls, and then even your most loyal knights will turn to outlawry. Maester, you do not mean that. Oh, but I do. I assume it's already begun, in fact. Why else would royalty trek into the hinterlands if not to beg for help?
We're here. You two, wait outside. Uh, Maester. This isn't a show. They will only get in the way. Or are you so unmanned by a doctor, you need your mistress to hold your hand? Ah, uh, hate to interrupt, but I happen to be a semiomancer too. See? You won't even notice me? Promise. I just want to watch. Whatever tech you used for that arm could help a lot more people, you know? Fine, but not a word from you. You, Filberto's girl. You know your herbs? Uncle Midas, my name's Nina. Nina! Well, Nina, let's see whether or not you can follow orders. Bring me two sprigs of lavender and Artemis leaf each. Dried, not fresh. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'm on it. And you? Raymond. Raymond, you're free to watch. But better keep that orb of yours in line. I'll do my best. You catch that, Duma? You'd be on your best behavior for the dock. What a rum thing. Now... So you collapsed in rifle? Experiencing any other symptoms? Keep this to yourself. For about a month's time, I have not been feeling quite myself. It was around then that I noticed a peculiar darkening of the skin at my shoulder. Hmm. Half a year. Then you will lose all function of your arm. Wh what I can craft a new prosthetic for you, but it will be of inferior make. Its performance will suffer as well. You have no choice but to change your lifestyle greatly, lad. And there's nothing to be done? There was, 14 years ago. Then, Maester, I have a favor I must ask of you. Unless it concerns your arm, you waste your breath. I have no patience for royalty or their dogs. <laughs> 14 years ago, huh? Well, what news? I have failed. My pleas for appeals fell on deaf ears. Uh, what do I care about that? I speak of your arm. Will it heal? Uh, oh, uh, right. Of course. He tells me I will lose all use of it within the year. But surely he can craft for you a new one, right? He may once have been able to, yes, but that was 14 years ago. <sighs> Highness! Maester Felgreed! I throw myself upon your mercy. I beg you, create a new prosthesis. You know my answer. I beseech you! Do me this one kindness, and I swear by all my forefathers that you shall never again have to see another of my line. Is that truly why you ventured into this backwater? To give your retainer a health check? I confess that was not my aim at first, but now... Now I am here for no other purpose than to see my dearest friend well at last. I entreat you, Maester. Help him. <sighs> the materials I'd need were lost to your kingdom 14 years ago. Nothing short of time travel can see that prosthetic of his made new. This cannot be. This is the best I can offer him now. I was warned that the arm might last into adulthood, so I prepared this just in case. With some adjustments, it should provide you with more than enough mobility to lead an ordinary life. But not one of knighthood. Still, that's a fancy piece of gadgetry. How's it powered? For no semiomancer, you're quite perceptive. Busted. It's plain to see there's no semiomantic connection between you and your orb, and yet still, it heeds your command. 
I confess I've never seen anything like it. How does it work? That's the million fall question, isn't it? Sure would be great if you could help us answer it, though. You think I'll be cozened by such tricks? Come on, man. If this kingdom goes down, it's taking you with it. If Asarius' fate rests entirely on my shoulders, then they deserve what's coming. Uh, Maester! End of discussion. However, I have a responsibility to see to your arm, one I won't neglect. Anything beyond that is none of my concern. As you wish. No, Highness. I have witnessed firsthand how much this village has come to rely upon you. I cannot in good conscience deprive these people of your services. I ask only that you provide Albert with the care he so rightly deserves. Wow. Distress signal received. Distress signal received. Huh? Confirmed. Edith affiliated. Escape craft entering current orbit. Analyzing call signal. Executive officer, Elena, on board. Already? But how? Something's wrong. Who speaks? And what's that map? Not now. Elena? Elena, come in. Ray, my escape craft has just entered Aster Four's gravitational field. But the attitude control systems can't be operated manually. Deceleration is impossible. Here are my projected landing coordinates. Got it. See you soon. And stay safe, okay? I will certainly try. Over. Um, what the heck was that? Sorry, guys, but something came up. Gonna need to leave you for a bit. Over my dead body. This is serious. I'm aware. So why then think to go off alone? Uh. Maester Felgreed, I'm afraid we must leave you for now. Albert and I have sworn to assist Ray in locating his companions. Where he goes, so must we. However, upon our return, I would ask that you tend to Albert's arm. Ray, let's hurry. Thanks. She's coming in too hot. I'm sorry. She has landed in treacherous terrain. She is beyond our help. She survived it all. Yeah, damn it! Come. Maester? You mean to get to that meteorite? Then follow me. Thanks, man. I owe you. You are good to help us, Maester. Thank you. I do this for my village, not for you. Uh-huh. Keep telling yourself that. Must. The meteorite likely fell near the Galka Shrine. It's not very far from the village. Come! This way! We're all set. Let's hurry over to Elena. We can leave through the western gate.
Anyone home? Anyone home? Welcome to our village. The machinery may be loud during the day, but don't worry. Have a good day. Love this place. Anyone home? Follow the side road until you reach the shrine. Be quick about it. The structure in the center is the Galka Shrine. Let's see what awaits us inside. Oh, I crunch. crunch a hot knife 
Elena could be in trouble. Let's go check out that shrine. Elena! Son of a... Elena! Need some assistance? Albert, take the other side. We three ought to suffice. Circuitry offline in both right hand and left leg. Symbol drive is non functional at the moment. Current power is being supplied from reserve energy source. In maintenance mode, I have at most 56 hours remaining. Advanced processing functions are also limited, preventing movement. Right. How can I help? Due to depleted energy levels, I will be unable to perform repairs myself. Furthermore, I can no longer salvage the parts I need from this damaged craft. Crap. So what are we supposed to do? Take me offline and destroy me. It is imperative that we prevent our technology from falling into the hands of anyone here. Are you crazy? What kind of captain would I be if I told my crew to start offing themselves? There's another way out of this. I know it. Of course. The equipment this life form requires to reconstruct itself can most likely be recovered from your downed escape pod. Well, you certainly pick very convenient times to start talking. I speak only when necessary, such as my programming. And thank you for deciding to pipe up now because you're absolutely right. My escape pods barely sustained any damage. Think that'd work for you, Elena? I don't see why not, so long as you can collect enough of what I need. I should be able to restore my motor control systems to previous output levels. Here, this should be everything. Thanks. You go into maintenance mode. Save your energy best you can. Just keep a comm channel open for me, got it? Understood. Ray, I take this to mean we are returning to the site of your ship? Mind? It's kinda out of the way. It may be, but we do not mind. We agreed to assist you in the search for your crew, and we intend to honor that agreement. Uh, wait. Don't know about you guys, but personally, I am super confused. I won't ask you to explain now, but you will tell us what's going on eventually, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. You said there was another meteorite not unlike this one? Did you not? Huh? Yeah? Why? I should like to see it. 
Therefore, I shall be joining you. Oh, so now you're interested in what we're up to. How quickly we change our minds. What did you say? You're free to come. Glad you want to, honestly. Because your help's gonna be invaluable. You've got tech like nothing I've seen here. And I'll sleep easier knowing Elena's got you in her corner. Glad I could be your soporific. And you're sure it's okay to leave her here alone? She will be fine. The villagers will know better than to enter, and I doubt any of the local fiends will make it this far. Then let's get cracking. We're on the clock here, people. Move it! Right behind you. Alright, thank you for watching again, and um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.